All right, hi everybody. So in this video here, we're going to solve the uh, inequ uh, inequation here. Okay, 6 minus 8x is less than 0. And there's a couple of different ways we can do it. And I want to actually approach this in, in two different ways. Um, just to, to illustrate uh, an idea that I'm going to build on later on here. So one thing that I can do here is I can bring that 6 over. And I know for a lot of people, bringing that 6 over over is probably not the first thing you'd think to do because it creates a negative on the right hand side. I think a lot of people would probably prefer to bring the 8x over but I'm doing this on purpose here because my next step is going to be to divide by the negative 8 and I want to remember you that when you divide by a negative when you okay whoops sorry I don't know why I did that when you multiply or divide by a negative that you change the direction of the sign and so you get negative 6 over negative 8 but now x is greater than that and then we're going to reduce that, and we're going to get x is greater than 3 quarters. Okay, so we might draw on our number line here, a little dot here, here's 3 quarters. I'm going to put an open circle over that because it's it's greater than, uh, it's going to be greater than, but not including 3 quarters. I'll draw a little arrow going out. Now another way that we can look at this is that that 6 minus 8x, I can, I can look at that as a function that I can graph here. So y is equal to 6 minus 8x. Now I'll maybe change the order a little bit so it looks more like the equation of a line. Then I'm going to graph that. So there's my plane there. And so what it is, is it's a, it's a graph that's got a slope of negative 8 and a y-intercept of 6. So here's my y-intercept at 6. And the slope of negative 8 means it's going to be, well, it's pretty steep, so it's going to drop down like that. Okay? Now... I would like to know what the x-intercept is because the x-intercept is where that particular line changes from being above the x-axis to being below the x-axis, okay? And in fact, that x-axis is always going to be that boundary there. So I'm interested in where 6 minus 8x is less than 0. And because of the substitution that I made up here, what I'm really saying is I'm interested in where y is less than 0. In other words, I am interested in where this graph enters either quadrants 3 or 4 because that's, that's where the y-coordinate is less than 0. I am interested in where this occurs, and it occurs right here at that x-intercept. So uh, 6 minus 8 equals 0. Okay, we did the math on that. Negative uh, 8x equals negative 6, so x is going to equal 3 quarters. And then I can actually see on my graph here, without putting too much more effort into it, that it's going to be to the right of that. So my graph hits the x-axis at 3 quarters, and then to the right of that, the graph is going to be below. So therefore, my answer here, just like we saw before, is going to be where the x-coordinate is greater than or to the right of 3 quarters. So I've got kind of a more algebraic answer and one that's a little bit more graphical. Okay, um, You're going to find that in a little while here, I'm going to probably favor the graphical solutions um, and kind of really emphasize uh, using using the ability to draw these graphs as a as a starting point.